Hey, hey. So, let's continue our exploration. By the way, what I wanted to say about um, balance in horror games. Um, there's a game, this is that game called uh, Until Dawn. It's only available on the PS4, I think, or some, yeah, PS4 should be. Um, not on PC, sadly, but it's a really great game. Um, and if you see uh, the making of of the game, um, it's really interesting. They what they did there, they did more than the usual play test testing. They really went through a lot of trouble finding out which are the um, like peak moments of suspense and tension and um, yeah I will grab that later um, they like filmed them film, filmed uh, some test persons who played the game in the dark and um, measured their heartbeat and um, Adrenaline and uh, the pulse and whatnot, all those kind of things. And of course, that's what I told you, right? It's for the greedy people to freak out the greedy people. You grab, you are trying to grab something, and then that is the moment when it gets you. Um. So yeah, they did a lot of stuff and. If um, the tension wasn't at the right point, they kind of tweaked the story a little bit and made the made the dialogue longer or whatever, or shortened it if it dragged on too long to get the right amount of um, up and down. And in that way, they made a really good game. Uh, all the scares are pretty e effective. I mean it's not super deep, it's like your teenage slasher movie I guess on the first glance but it has many many la layers in the story alone there are um, at least three main uh, plots uh, that kind of come together and they do work I gotta say they are sort through and they do have their own inner logic and it's all well measured and doesn't overwhelm you so yeah I kind of find it found that fascinating through what lengths those guys were going to create the to find the right balance in the horror game and to create the right amount of tension and suspense Is that really the only thing that we can do here? I guess so. Letter regarding the discovery of an orb. To my most trusted student and friend, Johann Weyer. So we are at the Weyer storyline. Okay, we gotta remember. <laughs> remember? Remember the word, word, remember? The stories that were named remember? So which one was it? Let's see. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the uh, Heliodromos described in the Hortus Conclusus. Don't know what that means. Helios is, uh, is it, isn't it the sky, I guess? Uh, Hortus Conclusus, I guess, uh, something uh, hidden, uh, an, an, a p hidden place. Uh, I'm just guessing here, I don't know. 
It was as it it was as it was told about an underground Mithraic temple, crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed, washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Altstadt, in investigating... Hang on, why uh, was that the guy with the French soldiers in the church? Hmm. I was staying in a nearby village called Altstadt, investigating one of the anti antiquated trails antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts they were real as you can understand this is the most important discovery of my life but is it has also become my greatest fear as I entered the underground chamber chamber I could feel that I was trespassing because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these uh, instincts and fetch the orb from its place. <coughs> I scrambled out of the cham chamber in and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard the cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings, the trees had turned charcoal, black with leaves of cinder. <laughs> Impressive. The ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing amber gave way to the writhing wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still, until this day, I fear its return. So, he, he uh, made so many miles traveling this way, this strange way that he basically was in a, another land then he traveled from Germany to um, Italy I guess through Switzerland or Austria um, sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest it has been nearly a decade De decade since that day and I still haven't been able to write abro about the incident. The last time we spoke you told me about your interest in ongoing research research into the mystic orbs and I realized I owe you the truth about my, about my visit to Altstadt. Your friend and mentor Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Okay, so comes a little more together. This Agrippa was the mentor and friend of Vaya. Okay. Let's, this is a lot to take in. Anyway, we will manage. Howling. Howling. Look at the look at the wall over there. What's up with that stain here? This sounds like a tortured dog. Speaking of which
Hmm. Okay. Why not? Chambers of the human skull. Let's make some noise. Holy shit. Something's reacting to the noise. Milestones of human ana anatomy. Understanding locomotion. Balance. Cannon jaw. Oh, someone stitched you back together, my friend. Bird. Shovel. Okay. Bird. The spine. Let's see what you have to offer. Sense it. It's definitely there. You sure about that, man? Mm. I don't think there's there are that, that many interesting things inside a dog. Oh, you gotta love that. You know. Mannequins, statues, things that have a human shape are bound to freak humans out if they are li lifeless. Mm -hmm. Look at your oh, little tiny wiener there. You don't look too happy. What's up with that guy? A for asshole, probably. Or Alexander Brennenburg. Brennenburg. What's this? Is that an eyeball? Sure. Why not? Let's make some light. Oh, that was a waste. That was a freaking waste. Oh, that was twice a twice time, two times a waste. There's e enough light coming from the window anyway. Uh, panicky Pete. They tricked me with those bones. I do have a lot of tinder boxes now. Nasty bones. Fuck off. Nothing of interest. But the dogs are still howling. Nothing we can do here. Hmm. Let's look at that guy. Long hair? Little hippie. He has a little hippie in him. See how creepy that guy is. He says, where is he looking at? Alright, this is huge. <laughs> we can't do too nasty stuff. Um, okay, let's read this. Anatomy Frontiers. Oh, this is an old one. Uh, six five. 1658 January 9. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life. Hmm, a little Frankenstein. And its relation to the power I sense within, within it. I shall, shall pursue more books on the subject. But I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. 
Clearly humans emanate more of the energy they seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. That's how all killers start out, right? Torture animals and then later they go to the big stuff. The only two things that are protruding here from this guy are his forehead and his little, you know what. He's watching me. Everywhere I stand, he's watching me. Look at him. That would be fun if a headless guy would, would be coming chasing after us now. Wouldn't it? Okay, we learned to sing. Let's close doors to creepy rooms. Seems like a useful mechanic. Hmm, it's pretty dark in here. Can we grab some of that shit? What? Dead end? No, you gotta be kidding me. Really? Oh, that's a shame. Anyway, we are not supposed to be here if we would follow the game suggestions, that is. So let's go back. Doom, de doom, de doom. Just a rando guy rolling through the house. Back home. We tried to fit the pieces together, but like the sand dunes, they shifted when you weren't looking. How clever of them. So you always have the music, the soothing music went when you enter this room. That's cool. Now, where to go? There's a little penis man still there. This door was opened before. Who closed it? I don't want to go down yet. Let's check out this room first. Hmm. So we have a new thing to do. Find a key. Yes. Maybe it's up uh, down there. <clears throat> Let's try the other door then. Those legs, they lay there so leisurely. <laughs> it's really funny. Like they're really relaxed. Yeah, who needs a buddy, right? Legs can have fun on their own. Herbert's trunk was wrapped in rope. The lock had been broken by thieves, he assumed. He wondered if anything had been left considering all the hands it had passed. Hmm, looks cozy and inviting. That music changed quickly. Ah, uh, that's a long stretch of darkness. And we don't have that much oil. Hmm. I want to make some light here. What's that? The darkness in the storage feels strange and unnatural. Indeed it does. Unlike all the other darkness, right? That haunts you and follows you. 
Yeah, that, that is what I was thinking. I don't trust the candles here. And the darkness even less. It doesn't even get brighter. The room just stays dark. There's a pile of dirty clothes. Blood. Nothing, sp nothing special. What? We're losing sanity. Hmm. What's up with all those clothes? Instrumenta. Equipment. Ooh, that's scary. I don't want to go down that. Go down there yet. Mashing. Please let me go. I won't tell anyone. I swear. I just want to go home. No! Get away from me! Leave me alone! So a woman was here. Maybe it was. That Elisa. Well, budge. Oh boy, I did waste a lot of tinder boxes here. Hmm. What now? The rocks are blocking our path. Is that what you wrote down? The rubble from a cave-in is hindering further passage in the storage. Find a way to get through. Let's see if we can grab those rocks. Nope. We cannot. Sanity is all I care about. Nothing under the stairs. Oh, okay. Still not budging. I hear you. This is a nasty corner. I didn't see anything right here when I was standing here, so I really need all the flames to guide me through here. Okay, that leaves us with this creepy ass dark room here. There's a door. Screaming ghosts and revenants. Like always. Man, there's just nothing and darkness in here. Oh, yeah, let's use it instantly. Kind of need to hurry a little here. Oof. That mechanic is creating a lot of tension for me. The whole whole oil thingy rusted shut secondary. Now this is the puzzle, isn't it? So we had dogs, the memories, the fading memories of tortured dogs, and drill part. Now we hear the memories of. Uh, Screaming woman. I think we have to let uh, light the candle there anyway. Because. Can we grab that rope? We are going to use that uh, valve there. Yeah, waste another one. Is 
that a child? Maybe those are the humans that Wilhelm and his men um, captured. Drill part combined. Sure, sure, sure. Can't assemble the drill yet. F need to find all parts first. Hmm. Still one part missing. That's no fun. We're almost out of tinder boxes here. Should we go back? Can we even go back? Look at that crap. What's that? Rusty or bloody that wheel? We need more lantern oil. It's coming from right here. Oh, I cannot light this one. Of course, there's no torch inside. Is there anything I can light? Or grab? Nice. Finally. Jesus. I guess we're going insane then. man angry naked man with a big mouse and he's gone okay let's relax a little in the light How many? Eight. But we are completely empty here. Oh boy. I don't know if I can do this without any oil. Let's see how far we can get. Alright. I guess we cannot drill our way through this thing, right? Nope. Can we drill through the door? We also do have to remember that we have those things. That's odd. It doesn't seem to cost us any sanity when we are trying to avoid the monster. It only sometimes uses up sanity. Kind of random. Vessel? You can have a vessel. Partially filled pot. Hmm, okay. We need another ingredient. I don't know why, but I guess we do. So there has to be a label 
another label um, thing. Yeah. Can't remember the word to be honest at the moment. And I'm a little quiet, as I noticed, because it's kind of creeping me out. Um, yeah, I'm contemplating if I should just leave. Just leave it be for the moment. Regarding, oh, there you go. There's the recipe. Regarding explosive mixture, Alexander, I have prepared the explosives you need for clearing the flood drain. I can't stress enough how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Please try to tell your feather brain servants this before you go ahead with your plans. The liquids are not by themselves explosive and should be kept separated to avoid further mishaps. I have arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All you need to do is, is to mix the li liquids and you are ready to go. A gripper. So, cool, we need that. We need that for... Um, to get rid of the rocks. That's really a little bit annoying um, that the monster just... I mean, not really annoying. I'm glad when it vanishes, but it makes it less um, reliable. Uh, that's kind of the point, I guess, right? But hey, I got my wish. I wanted to avoid the monster. And now I have to run from it. So where is our next labeled thing? Here. Here we go. Hang on. I just needed a little light. Hmm, still a slight headache. Highly volatile mixture. So, can we pour that on the rocks? Where were those rocks anyway? And all that moaning. Oh, this is only a room. This is a room as well. No, 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 we're completely wrong here. We need to get out of this huge room first. Yeah. Here. All right, all right. We're back at the light. And now we need to find the rocks. They were here. Pretty dark in here, no kidding. Don't stand too close to the blast. Will do. Mm, let me guess. It's not going to explode on its own. I need to do something else first, right? Do not set the off the explosion before you are sa safely out of the blast area. Well, how would we do that? Like 
like this. Hmm. Man, all those crying screams are really depressing. Hmm, that's good. Let me guess, this attracts the shadow, does it? Doesn't it? Oh boy, and I don't have any fuel in my lantern. Oh well, at least the shadow cannot see us as well. Crystal clear. Isn't that something? Give me that. It's way too dark in here. woman again. Seems to be always the same voice, right? And there's a, a light source. Um, I'm not sure if, if we have lit that, if we have already been here. to tell. So this is a huge ass room. And I wish I had my lantern. It's kind of rough with that extra dark darkness. Oh, that's good. Hmm, I knew it. We're back in the game. machine parts what about this oh just some I don't even know what that is a loaf of bread no a stone That is creepy, definitely. Flesh, rotten flesh. Hmm, lovely. Oh. Pick, pick, pick. They're not looking that um, bad actually for all the ti time they're supposed to be uh, hanging there. I mean they can't be that old. It's not like they're only bones. Ooh, no, no good. No good. Me no likey. Well that was uh, Oh, we shouldn't look at that guy, right? Yeah, we shouldn't. Shit. This is how you deal with monsters. Just look away. 
Move that asshole. You gotta leave the room. Holy shit. Hmm. I get I guess whoever that woman was, she's dead now. That sounded like a knife doing some damage. So let's find out if those guys can manifest more than one at a time. I bet they can. Okay, sure, why not? Thanks for turning on the light. Bloody cockwheels. <laughs> that was intelligent. Well, fire, what can we do with fire? Like heat up the needle? Nope. Hmm. What's this? Four phase amplitude rod. Trinity's. Sure, sure. Man, I think it's a little too bright here, isn't it? Yeah, that's better. And now it's getting all crispy again. Fuck this. Are you coming or not? Big mouse man. Well, the game is getting a little more terrifying. sure what the objective is here at the moment. How quickly they vanish again. A machine part made out of wood and metal. Same here. Combination does not work. Hmm. Okay. Let's see where the machine is that's missing those parts. Hello, monster boy. Are you there? It's the same guy, isn't it? He just followed me. Opened the door and followed me. Little asshole. Oh yeah, I haven't been here yet. Still inside? Monster go Monster boy. Hmm. No light source, but a lot of tinder boxes. I mean, no thing that I can light. Okay, I'll take it. Well, my oil, my poor, poor oil. Yeah, we have been there. We could go back, but what about those parts? Am I missing something here? I mean, this is where the rocks were, right? Where it blew up the place. Yeah. Hmm. Does the journal help? Find the key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room. 
So we're looking for a key, actually. That's fun. And finding a key in all this darkness. There's a motherfucker nearby. That's not fair. I didn't even do anything. So maybe that's uh, punishment for going back. I shouldn't have gone back. That's, that's what I get for mm, taking too long and making the wrong move. Instead of going forward, and being uh, brave and looking through the darkness. It's nothing of interest here. Food storage. Hmm. Machine parts for what though? Man, I thought there was a guy standing there. I'm freaking, starting to freak out now. Starting to see figures and shadows everywhere. Hmm. hmm. I knew it that there was still was something there. So there, there are two rooms with stuff in them. And here is no room. Machine parts. Let's try to keep track of everything. And this looks like you should be able to do something with the fire. We need a key. What is this anyway? No, don't touch it. Hmm. What about those chains? You can jingle them. Right. Okay. Let's take a closer look at this room again. Oh, shit, right. In case of a missing rod. If a full set of three rods is unavailable, there is one rod in the inner study rooms, which might work in case the elevator breaks down again. Unless it is absolutely necessary, always use the spare rods in the storage before using a mended one. Study it is. But we have been there. And there was just that strange hallway that ended in darkness. Hmm. I wonder if running will attract the guy. You know who I am talking about. Big Mouse. So, I don't get it. So this is right then. I have to go, yikes, to the study. Jesus. <laughs> it's almost like someone planted him there, isn't it? Like he always stands in your way right when you're about to enter a new area. Yeah, maybe it's for the best. At least it's somewhat predictable then. I mean, we're actually going back here, not into a new area, but we found out a thing and it kind of makes it a new area. I guess we weren't even supposed to go and the study yet. So the game maybe consider this considers it a new era area at the moment. 
Well, who knows? Somehow it will all fit together in the end. And he's gone again. I sink. Okay, let's run. It's the last bit. He returned the teacup to the saucer and picked up the orb as one would an apple and pondered on the strange happenings. Finally, safe or not. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, <laughs> I assure you. Are you tricking me to feel safe in this room and then you change the rules? This the cozy music that was here before. And what's with that body lying on the feet? On the legs. Oh, what? <laughs> what the? Lies! This is not true. Illusions. Trickery. I know you have seen it. Don't lie to me, head. And the guitar music is gone. So I know what you're doing here, game. Don't act like everything is normal. Okay, back to the study then. And I bet. Uh, hang on. The thin cold mist brushed his face as he stepped outside. London weather could be cruel, but it was the kind of cruelty he could handle. Yeah. I bet they have implanted something new here as well. The door is closed. Didn't I light a fire in here or something? Well, maybe it the game just resets the whole map. Who knows? Otherwise, I wasted. I wasted a tinderbox or two. Okay, so we need another rod. Who doesn't? This is the dark room, which is a little quiet, more quiet than before. Okay, an owl outside. I can live with that. Angry dog that will come to life soon. Statue gone? Nope. Statue is still there. There's a fire. And there's the creepy guy. Hmm. Okay, and we have been stuck here. What now, my friend? I'm all ears. Trinity Four Face. Can I combine those? Nope. Those? Nope. Well, there must be a reason that I have still those two singers here. Hmm. I'm still still howling the dogs 
something at the painting, behind the painting, nope. Uh, wait, what did the note say? In case of a missing rod, if a full set of three rods is unavailable, there's one rod in the inner study rooms, which might work in case the elevator breaks down again. Absolutely necessary, blah blah blah. Inner study rooms. Okay, maybe we should just look through the shelves and. Um, Tantanum boxes. <coughs> Maybe it will be available now and it wasn't before. Who knows? Or maybe we have just overlooked it. That could be the case as well. What was that? Yeah, was what was that? We can never really take a good look outside. All you see is another window. This is even more than we have seen before. And some trees. We, can't, we could get out so easily here. Just, just like so. But no. The game doesn't let us. Or we don't want to. Who knows? Rod, rod, where is my rod? Nobody knows. I can find a rod. Maybe the dog know where the rod is. Or maybe here. Rod, are you here? Hmm. No rod. Oh, I can light that. Come on, show yourself, rod. Where are you hiding? Nope. No rod. This place is a mess. Hmm. No rot in here either, I guess. What's this? Nothing of use. Can we move the shelf? Nope. Hmm. Okay. There aren't too many rooms left now. Right, right. Chambers. Man, there's a chamber of the human skull. Oh no. I get it. It's an anatomy expression. Uh, hmm, hmm. Rod? Nope. Rod. 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 Guess not. Well, kind of running out of options here. Rod. Nope. What's that supposed to mean? Rod. Nope. No. There are a lot of rooms that I could go through though, but I mean downstairs there uh, 
but I really think it would be up here. I mean, why else would they mention the spare rod in the study? What are you hiding? I don't like this painting. Well, I don't know. I think I'm going to make a break here. Um, cut the video, look around maybe, and when I find something, I will get back to you. Later.